Hi, dear viewers. This is Arash Kamali with another session of website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me. In the previous session, we made the HTML page. We set a menu bar on top of the page, and we set a picture slider after that. But the main problem here that we are facing on this page uh, is that, first of all, the height of this slide is a little bit too much, which, in my opinion, has affected the aesthetics of the web page. And it's very normal. We can change that. Okay, why? I go for the codes. Let's see. And reduce the height of the pictures on my codes. All right, I change the height from 500 to 300 and refresh the pages. Well, unfortunately, no changes are being applied yet. When no changes are applied on our page, what we need to do is that we'd better give a style uh, that is if we give the image tag a style and we can get rid of the problem so we can have any shape and sizes using the style a very simple code now it could be i give a style to my picture uh, first in order to do that i write displays equals uh, inline block yeah and let's see the height could be what do you think it could be yeah think of a better height it equals for instance 300 that we had 200 pixels and that we had intended previously and i save this all right uh, this style is copied for the rest of the pictures so that they are similar in pixel or in size to put it in the exact word and we save them and refresh my site again now as you see the height of the slide has been reduced but now it has been reduced too much we'd better set the height on let's say 450 i guess 450 pixel would be all right let's try it Let's see what happens yep let's see it as you see now i guess it's all right that is the height set at 450 is okay all right now there is a point that needs to be mentioned here as we said the bootstrap system is responsive to the cell phones dimensions and different sizes if i diminish my explorer as you see my slide will diminish as well or my menus will change in size they will not be affected by the stress sizing and still work well let's go for the rest of the work now i want to add a box after this picture now if i search in the components section of the bootstrap website uh, this cars sections here as you see here i can use the available cards one of them is this type that is suitable for the menus or boxes like these can be used for pictures or this one for a text and we have different types of boxes here as well uh, let's see yeah the options which have been available for us on the bootstrap website for instance i guess uh we have a box the upper one this one was all right well uh one point here if you check the box code right now you can only see the code of the box now i want to say here after the islam uh three boxes be said to be able to do this before that of course what I need to do is that in the layout and grid sections, uh, we can see different models. That is right now, based on the codes that we have here, my page has been divided into three parts. And inside each one of these, it has added a color box and a text as well. Or uh, we can also divide our page like this, or we can divide it so that it looks like this and as you see the codes 
It is obvious how it works based on the codes. We make a raw, a row, and then as many as we want here. It has been divided into two rows and here into three in that style. Now if I add 12 in the column is set on two, my row will be divided into two parts. Uh, if like the next one I set three columns in the next row, it will divide it into three. The divisions will be done based on the number that I give it. We can do it either in this manner or fashion or we can set the number. Uh, as we did here, we can give it a number, as you see, now they are bigger and uh, these are smaller. What I can do is uh, to say set two boxes for this, two for the other one, and uh, and one for this one. Anyway, uh, I prefer, that's what I prefer, but the sum of these numbers should not exceed 12. That is now, for instance, if you set three boxes on my page here, my boxes size need to be uh, 4 so that they won't exceed the set limit uh, so that I can set 3 boxes on a row if I want to add 4 which one should I choose? now as you see here the column is 8 this one is 4 with a sum being 12 as I said up here it is 4 if I want to have 4 rows so that I could add 4 boxes inside them uh, what should I do? I need to set the size as 3. As I said, we can have uh, added a number. It will just feed the boxes by the setting of the number of boxes. Or we can give it a size. Giving a size is better because we know what we are doing. All right now, I copy this part, this code, and paste it there, here, that my slide is over right there again I add a BR to make some space so that this row is a space and then I set this code now I check my website and then I set this code and I check it again as you see there are four columns set up here and an 8 and a 4 here now uh, it won't I won't be needing this section up there and here for instance what I can do is that, what should I do? I want to set three boxes or maybe four. Four boxes are set. So what type should this be? It should be number three and four of these are set as well on here. Okay. Well, now if you check your page again, my row has been divided into four parts. But we have only written a text inside it. Instead of these texts, we can add our own boxes. Let's see. All right. Well, and now here again, we enter components and we go for the cart section. As you see, there are so many other sections. And we go for the certain card that I choose. This one is suitable for the new section. This one has one box and this one could be a text we choose this one yep and copy it like that and all right here instead of the first box i add this material this code that i just copied for the type of box that i have and all right, now if you check this out, here it has a set a space, uh, it has set a space for my images address and it, the text that will show up when the picture is on the web page. All right, as you see here, now I want to save this picture. Let's do it. All right, here inside the theme, an image, I save it with the name for instance let's say yeah okay o1 o1 okay of course this is an html page here let's click again it doesn't allow me why do you think that's happening let's see here it doesn't let me save it now i use the address of one of the slide pictures okay let's do that we are just doing this 
as a test as a trial and error here I copy the address here and I use it uh, let's see yeah I use it for my box okay you can choose your favorite picture and I refresh my page okay let's see and as you see a box has been set for me which is a text and a picture all right now I can copy this for the rest of the pictures yeah they can be addressed the same way uh, in all the four sections I paste it yes like that one by one this code is being pasted or added what you may call it I refresh the page and as you see the four boxes here have been set side by side each other and uh, it's true when it's working for all the sections and I next add some space let's see to make it look better we add a uh, VR and now it looks better all right now it looks like this I have four boxes where I can set four pictures and four text inside them and there is a slide and a bar on top 